Good day, Doug Skinner here with Honest Intentions. Thanks for visiting today. I am going to show you a way to use LinkedIn to find your targets. One of the biggest problems that keeps coming up is how to obtain an introduction to a targeted person at a targeted company. And so this solution involves using your uh, LinkedIn application and reaching out to your first level connections for an introduction and we're going to use a spreadsheet, we're going to use a docs, a document, Word, uh, LinkedIn, and Notepad. The result is that you will make an outbound uh, message request to someone you know to introduce you to someone that you want to know. This is how it's done. So the, we start with a list of some kind, and in our recent efforts uh, beginning the new year, what we did was come up with a list of top tens. And one of the lists was unicorn companies. And so you can see here I've got unicorn unicorn companies. So I'm going to start by just copying that list from the spreadsheet. And then I'm going to groom the list a little bit. Uh, to do that, I'm using Word. And I'll just paste it in there. And when I paste it, it'll give me the option to just bring the text over without the, the uh, code, on the, the meta code on the background. Uh, then I just uh, have a list of names in Word. Then I'm going to use the Control H Find and Replace shortcut. Carrot P. Replace that with space O R capital O capital O R space. So that's uh, going to we're going to replace all those, and you'll notice that the new list. Actually, it's not a new list. It's just we're going to take the the formats out and we're going to copy that. Now we have a clean set of text that I'm going to be copying from and the next piece that we use is LinkedIn. So where do we go with LinkedIn when we want to find someone that's working at a unicorn company? That's my question. I'm going to go to my profile who's viewed my profile and see what we have here, okay? And as I thumb through some of these people that have been visiting me on my profile recently, um, trying to pick someone out that I'm going to look at their connections list. Uh, I see one here, TR Jordan. Let's pick TR Jordan and uh, someone that I met at a uh, uh, mixer. And I noticed right away that he's in San Francisco, and uh, that's pretty cool. What, what we do is we scroll down and then go to the section where it says connections. Did you ever notice this little uh, symbol here, this magnifying glass on there's connections? That's where you go. Click on that. And now I'm going to paste from my clipboard those 10 unicorn company targets and see who that it, who's working at those companies and connected to my first level connection TR and so as we look at that it shows the results of 26 results and now it gives me a new advanced search flyout menu so I click on that and I want you to note that what we're doing here is we're putting a set of filters on the LinkedIn uh, these are connections of TR Jordan and Companies that match the search string. This is a Boolean search string with a capital O-R space between each company name. And it shows several connections that we have a choice from. Maybe too many. There's more than 25 or more. There's 26 here. So what I want to do at this point, I'll just, I know, okay, here's Dropbox. That's one of my unicorn uh, target companies. Uh, okay, here, go Docker, there's another one. So now I have Docker and Dropbox filters on top of, you can see those filters on top of TR Jordan's connections and the unicorn companies. And so at this point, I am ready to just send my message out. This one looks really good. So I'll make a little, I'll make a little note, Todd Farrell, right? So I got Todd Farrell and, and I've also got uh, 
Uh, let's see. The next one is, um, oh, this one looks good. She's currently an advisor at Docker. Megan Zanicki. So Megan and Todd are going to be the people that I'm looking for that I'm going to ask to get connected with. So going back to TR, I'm going to leave this window open and I'm going to open up another TR. Uh, actually, I can go right here. Message TR. Okay. And in my subject, I'm going to say Happy New Year. And in my text, I've got a text uh, for this particular purpose. Looks like this. Okay. So you can see uh, I've got it now. I'm, I'm, I'm going to substitute a couple of things to customize the text. Put in TR's first name. Uh, next, I'm going to put in the target person and the target company. In this case, I have two. And then I'm going to also reference the fact that I am recognizing TR at his company. And uh, so those are the three fields that I substitute out before I send. And it looks like this when it's done. Hello, TR. Okay, so I've got all that done. I'm going to copy that into the message and send message. That's it. Message sent to TR asking for an introduction to some targets. Uh, hopefully that is going to solve a little problem for you. I have filtered out connections on my first level introduction. So... Give it a try. Tell me how it works. Happy New Year.